greetings and welcome <laughs> to another video of my escapades as the weekend warrior uh, my name is Gerald in case you don't know uh, or can't tell by looking at my channel name uh, I don't have a whole lot of fancy high-tech video equipment or editing equipment for that matter it takes a little while to put together these videos using just an Android phone I'm not sponsored by Android or anything but I just thought I'd put it out there Today we're on our way out to the beautiful Cannonsburg area, let's put it that way. I'm going to be driving about 35, 40 minutes away from home. Uh, I got my Astro packed up and ready to go. Today's pack is um, two 18 inch subs. I'm going to use two K12s for the tops. I'm going to use uh, two K12s for monitoring for the band. And uh, today I'm going to use some drum mics. Yay! I got drum mics uh, from a friend. Uh, if you watched a previous video to this one. No, I don't know the order anymore. I'm ahead, I'm behind, I don't know where I'm at. But, got a bunch of new stuff, things um, that I'm going to start incorporating. And one is drum mics. This place that we are at today is, um, is a larger room and the symbols don't cut through as much as I'd like them to. So I'm going to go ahead and mic up uh, the toms and the symbols so that uh, they can be heard or mixed a little bit better than they have been in the past. Uh, this is a band that I've done several times before and you've actually seen them in videos before also um, have an extra pack of uh, the extra rack that I made for them has a bunch of in-ear monitors as well as mic wireless microphones um, I made the rack because it was a lot simpler to have them all in one place and powered by one unit instead of having six multiple units uh, stacked on top of each other and wondering where I'm gonna put them and hoping they don't fall and all that kind of stuff it's a lot easier just to have them all together but um, don't for oh I'm also using the new XR 18 that I purchased so that um uh, yeah it's just it's new and I, this is the first time it's going out today um, should be a relatively easy gig. I'm not foreseeing anything detrimental happening. So uh, I'll take you guys along for the ride and uh, we're going out to a winery. I think it's called a winery. But from what I understand, they don't make the wine there. They import it from California and they sell it there. So I don't know if, is, is that cheating? I don't know, I don't know. Everybody's got a winery and most of them are doing pretty good. So hey, more power to you. All right, let's go for a ride.
first set is done and over with. No major clumps or nothing. The drum mics are working out really nice. I'm not over mixing this room because it is so live. The keyboard players, they are definitely keeping the volume down, which I love. And um, overall, the band is working the crowd really good. Here we are, first set. Everybody was up and jamming for the whole first set. That is awesome. And I got me some new swag. By the way, swag is no longer swag. It's now drip. So remember that. No swag, drip. <laughs> Catch you guys after the second set. Okay, now we do something called the idiot check. That's when you look around for anything that you or anybody else may have left behind by mistake, making you the idiot of the night. Looks like we're free and clear. Kind of a live room. So when it gets loud, it's real loud. So you can't turn it up too loud. There you go. I have to tell this story every time I come past this place. This gate right here, there was one night I was the last person done, as usual, as just like tonight actually. And as I'm... Continue on Red Fox Road for three quarters of a mile. I get done packing everything up, throw it into my vehicle, and I go down a hill. And that gate is locked padlock chain lock I thought to myself if I had a good ratchet set in my truck with me at the time I could have taken the gate apart but I was forced to sit there and call the police on myself anyway they came they wound up getting a hold of the owner who got a hold of the manager who finally drove and came and unlocked the door to let me out whole ordeal took maybe hour and a half 